Welcome back Silver Bull fans. Gonna try to do a video here on Windows Movie Maker and how to make a YouTube video using Windows Movie Maker. The reason I've chosen that as the uh, base rather than other things is because it comes with most uh, computers. Most computers operate Windows and uh, this program comes with it. So uh, Windows Movie Maker is not that hard to use. You open up the program and then you uh, can pick either pictures or even little video clips to chuck in so let's say we want to make a, uh, a video on um, on the TSA and what's happening there we just import our pictures they could be from a uh, file you've saved on desktop they may be pictures you've taken yourself or stuff you've got off the net um, stuff you've got off the net ideally you should try to uh, get permission from the uh, the uh, producers of those pictures to use them um, there are protections for fair use under educational use or other various uses or not not for profit uses I prefer to try and contact the owners of the pictures and get their permission most of them are pretty cool about it they uh, don't mind um, and uh, we'll give you permission to do it um, some pictures my argument is they're so in the public domain um, that uh, any copyright in them is um, irrelevant because they're a publicly uh, public image for example a picture of the Statue of Liberty uh, or um, that would be my argument I don't know how that would hold up and certainly don't take it as legal advice um, and you know a picture of Barack Obama or something like that they're hardly portraits they're just common pictures to pass over a theme they're not used for a commercial purpose and certainly they're used more for an educational purpose so this is probably the easiest way to do it for you just drag the media straight in um, like this now these can be individual pictures or they can be uh, little short video clips um, or a combination of both now let's say you can either do it off a script and know how long each part's going to take or you can just guesstimate or um, I actually tend to uh, guess what sort of length I'm going to talk about each piece for let's say I want a two minute video I'll just lengthen these all you do is just click on them and lengthen them to whatever let's say a minute 20 there okay so that's how you can link from that and that's your video portion there all right now you, let's say you want to put in some gnarly transitions they're not hard either you just click in there and you hit transitions and you can there's a number of options there for you you can have fade out page curl you just grab it take it down to transition here just there, there we go. Then you can decide how long that transition is going to last for. You can you can drag it as well. You, know, you just got to get the right thing here, and you can um, drag how long you want that transition to last. Like if you want a long transition or a quick transition, and then you don't have to have the same transition. You can go for different transitions. Maybe stars and stripes fits your theme, so you just drag that into there into transitions between the two slides, and then once again you can lengthen or shorten that transition. Once we get hold of it, there we go down the box there, and you can lengthen it or shorten it. Now that's your video. So if you hit play, you'll see your video play out. Take a minute thirty there, so I'll hurry it on a bit. So here comes the first transition you'll see up here and it just pages off slowly. The longer the transition the time you've given it the slower it'll be. If you want a quick transition just make you can almost have it instantaneous. Um, and s similar for this next transition here. Alright and we have the stars and then we go to that. Alright so that's it for transitions and filling up what essentially is an audio visual. What you can also add, it's very easy to do, is titles and credits. So let's say you want to add a title at the beginning here. You can put uh, 
silver bull channel and let's say TSA dramas you just add that as a title and that automatically comes up the front there can increase its length as well and you play it automatically comes up silver bull channel TSA dramas for example and then maybe your theme like I, I like the silver bull here um, so likewise for the end if you want to run a few credits just go up to the tools titles and credits and you just credits at the end and you can type in uh, many thanks to whoever da 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 we'll go Microsoft Windows Movie Maker and YouTube YouTube and you just add that and that comes on the end here as you can see change its length and when we play that you get that many thanks to Microsoft Windows Movie Maker and YouTube right so there's your video portion of it now you want your audio now you can uh, put in music a music track there um, the only drama is then is once again copyright and they're probably even more strict on music than they are on photos um, though I notice a lot on YouTube they're um, advertising it on iTunes so I don't know whether they've got some special deal worked out with copyright there or whatever but there's a lot of videos on YouTube that the audio gets banned straight out because of the music so I just don't normally include music that's the easiest way to avoid that um, so for audio all I do is go to the sound recorder under the accessories normally that's under accessories if you use it a bit it comes up on your bar there so this is our sound recorder it's as simple as hitting the button to go start recording so you hit the button to start recording you can see there's a talk there the green bar goes up or down and then you hit stop recording when you're done you save your title um, we'll call this a test and wherever you want to save it I normally save most things to desktops okay and then to insert your audio all you have to do is grab your test import it there it is and we drag it down to the audio section and I normally make my audio as long as the video and the easiest way to do that is I start recording then I hit play and off it goes so um, you can lengthen that shift it to where you want but obviously you're going to time your audio you can either do it because you've got a script and you know how long your audio is going to take or you can do it as I do which is I just hit play and then try to uh, match my speech with the pictures turning over um, whichever you're more comfortable with whichever you think is going to end up with a more professional result certainly if you're adding music or other tracks or there's little videos with their own um, audio f in them you uh, may want to uh, do a bit more with regards to audio but that's your basic this is your basic thing to produce a a decent quality movie for YouTube and this is how you do it and this is all recorded using Cam Studio so I hope that's taught you something on uh, how to make a, uh, a movie on YouTube using Windows Movie Maker thanks for your time